We begin with the investigation into the shooting of a New York City police officer. CBS 2's Karen Dillon is live in Foxhurst in the Bronx with new information about the suspect. Karen. Dana, that suspect has been identified as police, as 26-year-old, from police rather, as 26-year-old Jerome Roman. Police say he is well known to them, is from right here in the Bronx, and has gang affiliations. Now, I want to give you a look at some compelling body cam footage of the incident police have just released. Officials say last night around midnight, three officers and one lieutenant were patrolling in the area of East 169th Street and Lyman Place when they noticed a man they thought had a weapon. When they tried to apprehend him, a struggle ensued that resulted in the suspect firing his gun. Here's more on what happened from Police Commissioner Dermot Shea. Clearly armed with a firearm, repeatedly telling him to let go of the firearm. During this struggle, we believe the individual fires one round, which strikes our lieutenant one time in the ankle. It is a through and through wound, which then strikes a nearby parked car. The firearm was eventually recovered. This struggle took approximately five to eight minutes. The individual was safely taken into custody with no injuries. I have to commend the four officers for the incredible restraint shown on video. The NYPD has released a photo of the gun, which was recovered at the scene. Meanwhile, we also know more details about the suspect in question. Again, 26-year-old Jerome Roman is, uh, tw has 25 prior arrests, which include for possession of a firearm. Roman is now facing several charges, including attempted murder and assault. Now, when it comes to the officers involved, the lieutenant was taken to the hospital and treated. He is expected to be okay. The other three officers were also not seriously injured. We're live tonight in the Fox Foxhurst section of the Bronx. Karen Dillon, CBS. To you. Karen, thank you.